Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, since it's kind of like rainy weather here in Florida, I decided why not sit back, put on a full face of makeup that I hate. So if you guys want to see what look I create, what my thoughts are on all these products, well then definitely keep on watching. Hey, so about a couple weeks ago, I did a video where I talked about all their makeup that I regret buying. And so many of you guys were like, oh my God, you should do a full face of those products. So here I am today, finally making this happen for you guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that some of these products haven't been used in like years. So they may be expired. And you know what? That's okay. Cause I don't intend on leaving out my face very long, but we're here just to sit back and have some fun. So the very first product we're gonna put on my face, and we're gonna start off like doing it the way the booty gurus do it, where they do like a full face and then they put their eyeshadow on. I'm gonna start off that way too because <laughs> we gotta be like traditional. So the first thing is gonna be this Japonesque primer. Now I had talked about this video, I had bought this primer because I saw it in a Dominique Cosmetics video. I really wanted, I didn't have a YouTube then, I didn't have like any makeup then, but I wanted to have this primer, I got it, and I barely used it because it was so shitty on my face. We're gonna kind of like mix and match. So I don't know how good this primer is. It's been years since I've even opened it. Um, doesn't have a smell to it. So that is good to know. I don't even know if they still sell this. I don't even know what was so great about this, but Dawny Cosmetics talked about it. And I was like so obsessed with her back in the day. Her and Robert Christie and, um, lust or katie but she goes by lust lusty luster like the three top influencers that i followed and then shortly after jacqueline hill so anything that like chris and dominique talked about i always had to get and they never worked for me ever and i was like well shit and then when i discovered robert e. Christie, she had like I don't know, 66,000 subscribers at the time. She was like the Nick's Face Awards. And then I remember she had like this whole makeup look where she used like MAC Cosmetics makeup look. And I just want to never forget that I bought that shit and <laughs> it was shit. It was my, also my very first video here on YouTube. And I hate that video more than anything. <laughs> okay, so now that that is on, we're going to take this little Hourglass Vanishing Veil Primer. Um... <laughs> Again, this little vial right here, I think was like $21. And I was like, this is shit. <laughs> that was so horrible. And I don't even know if it's going to come out. Ooh, looks a little runny. I don't know if that's good. And yes, I'm doubling up on primers because sometimes I like to do that. A lot of times I'll use like a pore filling primer or um, like a hydrating primer. So I'll, like, I'll mix my like... Uh, June and Co. Miracle Moonshine Cream Primer, and then I'll either put like Poor Professional on top of it, or I'll put my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer on top of that. Like, I'll just kind of like push it in because there's nothing wrong with like putting like what you really need to mattify right in the T zone, and then everywhere I'll choose like a different primer. I'm just kind of like mixing the two. Um, both feel very lotiony. That's how they both feel. So we don't know how this is going to work today. Um, I'm also going to be using a Laura Lee's favorite brushes. This is when she had a collab with Morphe and then Morphe dropped her so quickly after her scandal, which was kind of not fair because they didn't drop anybody else except her when she had her scandal. But I see that Morphe like doesn't like to play fair. Okay. So for foundation we are going to go in with the morphe fluidity foundation everybody raved about this foundation at first and then they realized that it was total butt garbage so we are going to use that today i specifically did a review on this so long ago and i wore this to work and i was in tears by the end of the day for how bad this looked on my skin so i'm gonna do like half the face using this morphe y6 brush that laura lee was like obsessed with said the best of putting on foundation and i'm gonna mix it with my tati blendiful which is also just pure garbage as well <laughs> i don't know how this is gonna turn out i'm a little a little nervous not gonna lie you're ready so okay so i'm gonna take this and swirl that in do a little bit of stapling motions oh God, this looks fantastic. You know what, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Bring it down. 
You know, I give props to people who can use brushes for their foundation. I feel like mine just gets so like streaky looking. It just never looks good by any means. Some people do it. I'm like, how do you like make it look so like perfection? Mine just looks, looks like I'm putting on clown makeup. Not the worst, okay. Then we're gonna use the other side for the Tati Blendiful. And if I'm using this Blendiful wrong, guys, I don't care. I don't ever use this thing. It was like, I bought it because it was $18. It was Tati, I love Tati and I wanna support her. And this was just not something that like worked out for me in the slightest. Um, it's great for powder, but like applying like a liquid foundation, no. It is not good for that. Look how horrible that looks. Oh my God, I look so ghostly. Oh my God. Oh, this is sexy. Uh, I don't know who let me walk out of the house wearing this foundation, let alone go to my job at Disney at the time. Oh my God, that was truly embarrassing. Truly, truly embarrassing. I served all day, all day with that makeup on. And I, I don't, I think one person told me my, my foundation looked like shit. Everyone else just like, oh, hey. I'm like, oh my God, my guests probably thought there was something wrong with me. All right, so I turned the beauty lights down so you guys can really see how this foundation is like sitting on the face. It looks so great, right? So yeah, this is what it looks like with the lights turned down. It just like sits on there. Like, look how it looks like on my nose. It is just, it is, it's, it's a... Uh, it's a look. <laughs> okay, so now that it's laid down, we're gonna go in with the Morphe concealer right here. Again, this was supposed to be like a holy grail. This is something that Jaclyn Hill still raves about. Um, this is in the shade C1.55, and this was in the shade 120. Jaclyn Hill still says it's like one of her favorite concealers, which, you know, hey, more power to you. It is definitely not one of mine in the slightest. Oh, I didn't even realize. I didn't even blend it down to the rest of my neck. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, that's embarrassing. Okay, so what, I just, we'll take this little guy and we're gonna blend it out. Definitely knew what I was doing when I was color matching. Oh yeah, I knew exactly what I was doing then. Now I will say about this little guy, this little guy actually isn't bad whenever you're laying concealer down on the eye, like if you wanna do like an eye look and set your, set your base, it's actually really good to go with. But as for like anything else, again, just not something that like, I highly recommend. Um, you notice that after this though, she didn't launch anything else. This is like her one of her last launches and who knows when she plans on coming back. If she does, beats the crap out of me. Um, for powder, I don't know what I did with my other NYX powder that was like a HD setting powder. I don't know where it is. I think I might have tossed it. Yeah, I think I might've tossed it. So we're gonna go with this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop setting powder. This is in the shade Light Medium to set the face. Oh yeah, I forgot how horrible this was. Shitty. And we'll take this Blendiful once again. That doesn't even match. Oh my God. This doesn't even match. Wow, that's like a banana color setting powder that I just put under my, wow. Oh boy, that's nice. Alrighty, so for the next product, it's, I don't know if I'm gonna hate this. I actually got this recently from a wonderful friend, but they sent me a brow powder um, pomade kit from Billion Dollar Brows. I actually really love Billion Dollar Brows. I think they're um, a great brow brand. Um, I got sent one a long time ago on a box charm. I used to use it all the time until Benefit contacted me and I just really love Benefit stuff. But I, I don't really play around with pomade, so we're gonna play around with it today. Maybe it's gonna be something that we like. Maybe it'll be something that we don't like but we'll find out. Uh, I can tell you guys right now, I don't know how well it comes off on camera, but my face is just a mix of color right now. It has a little bit of like weird yellow to, hue to it, and then it has like white. It's so weird. Oh, that's deep. It's supposed to be in the shade taupe. It isn't the worst but I feel like it's like a brownie amber shade on me. I don't know if that's good. Um, oh, look, my eyes are creasing over. Oh, and I got them crusty lips going on. Oh, this is just beautiful. 
fall. I should do these videos more often because there are some makeup products that I generally just really end up hating, but my dumb ass always like ends up throwing it away like, oh, shady, throw it away, or I go and return it. But like, I feel so awkward returning makeup. Oh my God, I feel so guilty. Like I'm the type of person that if I order food at a restaurant and I don't like it, I won't say anything because I just feel so bad. Even though like I'm a server myself. So you think I'd understand that the server doesn't give a flying crap if you don't like the food or not. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt them. Like it's not, it's like it's their fault. They didn't personally cook it for you. But I literally will feel so guilty and I won't say anything. And Corey's like, just tell them you don't like it. I'm like, no. So I'm the same way when it comes to like returning makeup. I get so awkward, especially they're like, is there anything wrong with it, dear? You're like, um, no, um, I, you know, I just, oh my God, I'm horrible at it. Yo, I thoroughly messed up that brow. Yo, it's gonna stay messed up because when I try to fix it, the foundation is shifting and moving. So <laughs> there is that. Okay, so for the next part, how do I close this? Okay, so for the next part, we are going to do the eyes before I do anything else. So we are gonna use the Conspiracy Theory palette today. I have only used this uh, palette the one time I did the video. I have not touched it since um, because I frankly think that the color scheme just is so weird and, and awkward and it just doesn't like, it's not cohesive at all. And now with all the drama too and Shane Dawson being like, screw the beauty community, it makes me wanna like play with it even more. So I don't exactly know what type of look to go for. I mean, like, look at it. It's just such a weird looking palette. Like nothing's cohesive. So yeah. You know, I think I'm gonna try to do something soft today. So I'm gonna try to find a brush in here. I think this is the Morphe R39 brush. And we're just gonna see if we can make a makeup look out of this. Hopefully it turns out great. You know, hopefully I can create a look using this palette, seeing as how this palette like really cost me a fortune. So the shade I'm going to first is the shade Ranch. Oh, oh, can't forget. I gotta lay down this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is such a huge hit for some reason, especially for Black Friday. They always release this every year on Black Friday for $10 and it sells out like crazy. Now I have used this repeatedly for a while and I just don't get the hype of it. I just really, really don't. But some people really like it and hey, more than married to you. Um, always keep a lookout because I swear to God, every Black Friday, these are always on sale for $10 as like a doorbuster deal. And yes, do I go out shopping on Black Friday? Oh my God, it's so much fun. I love shopping on Black Friday. Not necessarily just to buy stuff, but it's just it was just the thrill of it. Now I hate that they open up on Thanksgiving um, before when I didn't, I actually would go and stand out there at like one o'clock in the morning and wait for the doors to open up at like three or four. And then they start switching it to be like 5 p.m on Thanksgiving, but um, I'll never forget, one of the best memories I've had with my best friend who passed away of cancer was us going uh, camping outside Best Buy. It was the first Black Friday that was gonna be on Thanksgiving. I'm gonna go on the Shade Branch. And I'll never forget, we camped out, like she legit brought a camp, like brought a, like, a little tent, bought a little like, um, ooh, that's pigmented brought like um, chairs, a little tent, and it was freezing. For the first time here in Florida, it was like down in the 30s. And we, Lily, were the second in line. Me, Corey, and Jenna, and her husband like had to take care of the dog, so he was just kind of like back at home. And we sat there, because she wanted to get this really cool like camera set, and it was freaking freezing. She was in the middle of chemo treatment, she was sick with a cold, and we were like, are you sure you can do this, Jenna? She's like, I'm determined to do it. And one of, Sorry, one of my favorite photos was ever taken from that night. And we literally sat there and we slept on concrete floor. And I'll never forget a cop stopped by and he was like kind of like honking his like like horn going beep beep and like flashing his lights at us. And we're thinking, oh my God, are we not allowed to be here? Are we not allowed to like solicit? Like what is going on? And he had friends, I guess, in the first tent and he wanted them to pick up items for him. And we were laughing like, oh my God, cause Jenna's like, I'm about to pull out the cancer card. If I got cancer, I need to get this, like this, this film. And we literally camped all night and we had some of the best times ever. It was amazing. And we went to McDonald's right next door and the store opened up at um, 5 p.m. on Thanksgiving, but we camped out the night before on Wednesday. And no one came in the line to Best Buy until 4 p.m. on Thursday. So we're all like, we didn't have to camp out. We could have just been home sleeping in our warm beds. 
it was horrible. And not to mention, I was fighting a UTI at the time. So I'm like, this, this sucks. But looking back on it, honestly, it was such a wonderful memory. And it brings a smile to my face every single time. I won't forget, like, she left to go home for a little bit. And she was like, oh, I'm gonna go bring my new puppy because she had a little puppy at the time. And she was gonna bring us food. She came back empty handed but had her dog. We're like, where's that food? She goes, oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I do miss her. All right, so the next shade that I'm gonna go into is this shade Pigment right here. That ranch shade, I will definitely say, is really pigmented, really beautiful, actually. Um, since I messed up my lighting, if my lighting's off, I do apologize. Um, Corey might have to fix that because I feel like now I look too ghostly or ghostly, and uh, yeah, I can't tell. All right, so we're gonna start to lay that down right here. I am using that Morphe R39 brush that I got from the Laura Lee kit. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually a really pretty pink shade. Very soft, very subtle, and it's blending really beautiful into the first shade. I can't knock it. Jeffree Star does have great products. Whether I liked the color scheme or not, his products are really fantastic, and I won't forget how huge this launch was at all. It was actually one of the first videos that like I had like take off like go like viral um makeup wise because I, I remember in one day getting like 90,000 views and I was like what so insane something that I never ever dreamed would happen and it did that was such a fun launch too okay so now that that color is laid down we are going to go into the shade what's the tea right here um it's actually a really nice brush I can't believe I just was sitting on it for so long and not actually using it. What is wrong with me? I'm playing with like the lighter pastel colors today. Uh, why? I don't know. I just want to... I don't know. It's what's calling out to me. The tea is calling out to me. Uh, speaking of tea, guys, I need to talk shit about myself. Um, so my dumb self thought that my No Waste Wednesday ended, um, today. Yeah. Yep. So I went to go pick the winners and I was like, oh, let me see. You know, I went on the page and I was like, in September 4th. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, yo, tell me why I thought that I had it set for two weeks. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't even like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I completely dropped the ball on this one. So I do apologize guys. I legit thought that my giveaway ended today and not last Wednesday. So I am so sorry for <laughs> being a shitty YouTuber. Oh my God. I, I can't believe that. I just completely dropped the ball on that, but don't worry. Packages are going out tomorrow. So oops. <laughs> I need to set reminders on my phone. Normally I write, write it down on my calendar, but I just switched this calendar yesterday because I forgot that we are in the month of September. So I um, completely forgot. It's like a funny combo. It's like a funny color combination. Ugh. 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 Oh, this foundation, it just like clings to the skin. Oh, it, it, it makes me look dry, which as a oily bitch, fantastic. But um, no, it just looks horrible. Okay, so now that that is laid down, we are gonna go into a um, bronzer. So we're gonna go into this cover effects. This is the face kit that came in a box of charm long ago and i'm just going to take my bling brush this is my favorite bronzer brush of all time which by the way they're actually restocking the rose gold editions again this week I'll, I'll make sure to announce it down below but they are stocking the entire rose gold collection so i'm going to go into this little contour kit right here wow that it has a lot of kick up and we're going to start to just lay that down right here Okay, and then I'm gonna set my face just one more time. I'm gonna cut out like the little right there. Um, I'm gonna take my Naitati Beautiful Blendiful, and we're just gonna. Oh, that's just great. 
doesn't even want to stay. Alrighty. Okay, so for blush, we're gonna go into the blush that's right here. And we're gonna use my F4 brush, tap that in, and just very lightly. God, my pores look so big. The blush actually looks kind of pretty, not gonna lie. Okay, so before I put on highlighter, I do wanna set the face. So I'm gonna use two different setting sprays today. I'm gonna go ahead and set it first with my Max Fix Plus. This is the matte version. This thing shoots out like, like a water jet, so. Look, if you guys ever wanna know how to get like that beautiful glistening sweat look, just spray this on your face. It looks like, can you guys imagine this? Okay, makeup's all done guys. Like what? This thing just like shoots out like a water jet. I don't know what happened to it, but it was like that the moment that I got it. I don't think any of Max, Max, Mac um, Fix Pluses actually do what they're supposed to do. I think they're just more of like smell good water. And then because we look so dry, I'm gonna use this Cover FX Illuminating Spray as well. Mm. Oh, <coughs> got my eye. Ooh, we do love a glowy bitch. For mascara, I have two. This is from uh, two. This is from Too Faced Cosmetics, the Better Than Sex mascara that everybody freaking raves about. So it's amazing. And then we also have the Too Faced Damn Girl mascara, both of which are claims to be amazing. You know, lifting and spreading the lashes. No. So I'm gonna go ahead and like curl my lashes. And then we're not gonna do any false lashes today because the lashes that I would use, I actually threw away. It's what I got in a box of charm a couple months ago. That thing was, oh my God, it was freaking horrible. But I threw those lashes away the second that I got irritated and I like, got like a little rash. So I don't have those. So I figured why not just use mascara. Look at that. That's the size of my eye. Oh, oh, okay. So it definitely does lift the lash, but um, it got on my eyeshadow there. You guys see that? I know you guys can take like a dry Q-tip to help clean it up, but it kind of sucks like when you already have your makeup done to have to do that. I'm actually gonna kind of mix it with this Better Than Sex. God, this thing is so chunky. So I didn't get on this one too much like I did this one, but I did go in my ColourPop liner right here. I have nothing bad to say about that. So for a highlight, I don't know what brush she uses for highlight. Um, we can just use this. We're gonna use this brush for a highlight today. We're gonna go into my Master Chrome uh, by Maybelline right here. I think I'm gonna take this uh, golden one Nothing wrong with these. I just used to really love these, but then I just found other highlighters I just thought worked better. You know, this is a great drugstore. Actually, I really love Milani highlighters. I think Milani has fantastic drugstore highlighters. But that's still beautiful though. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so last but not least is the lips. So I had talked about this Baby It's Cold Outside lip kit that I got from Kylie Cosmetics and how that video like had taken off for no particular reason and i figured why not use this today to do my look um i feel like red might be too much let me see what this red looks like Ooh, that's like a bright red i don't know if red will look i feel like red might be like oh bitch <laughs> what are you doing maybe this color would be really pretty i guess we can go in the shade small wonder Oh my God, so the first lip kit that I ever bought from Kylie Cosmetics was one from Amazon. It was like her birthday collection. I later on found out that was not the real thing. It was actually a dupe. And that was very disappointing. So I had nothing really too bad to say about Kylie's lip kits. Only thing I don't like about them is that she creates shades that are just for the holidays. And then once they're gone, they're gone. So that's why I don't really like necessarily like these holiday lip kits because if I really fall in love with the color, what am I gonna do? Like, I just, I just ran out of it, so. 
This is definitely not bad. It's called Small Wonder. I don't know if these are still good though, because I, I think these are like two years old. Oh, definitely past the shelf life, but that's good. <laughs> that's okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Gloss on top. I really hate this gloss. It's so sticky. It just is not a good gloss in the slightest. My hair sticks to it. Definitely not the prettiest. Alrighty, and this is the final look. So what are my thoughts on the makeup that I use today? So let me take a look at like my face up close. Um, okay, we're gonna start with the primer. I don't see what the primer did. Um, I remember that when I wore this all day, it just was not good. Uh, this probably expired, like I said, it's probably like four years old for this one. Um, this one is like definitely like two years old. Um, I don't think they're the miracle primers that we claim them to be just because they're so high priced. I definitely don't think they're worth the price point in my personal opinion. They never worked for me back in the day. I don't think they're going to work now. So those are finally going to end up in the trash. Uh, the Morphe foundation, it does look beautiful on the skin. I cannot deny that it looks beautiful like right here. But when I look at like where it's at with my pores, you can see it's sitting in my pores. It's like cracked on my nose, not wanting to sit in properly. It is a beautiful foundation just like right here where the only part of my skin has like smoothness. If you have textured pores, it just kind of emphasizes it. It does not look good. And I can tell you right now, this foundation just, does, just doesn't last. It says it's supposed to be mattified, it's supposed to keep you matte. It just doesn't do its job. Not good in the slightest. Definitely do not recommend it. Same thing with the concealer. I don't care for the concealer. I know that Jaclyn Hill raves about it, but I know there's so many other good concealers out there. Like the ColourPop No Filter Concealer is really good. I know that the Tape Shade's really good. I'm not like the biggest fan of concealer, but the one that I use on a daily is the Revolution, Re Revolution Makeup um, Conceal and Hydrate concealer i really like that concealer i feel like there's nothing wrong with it but um if you're looking for a cheap alternative to definitely go for color pop for the brush application surprisingly enough it doesn't look the worst on this side i feel like this side looks a little bit shittier because of the tati blendiful uh ew, it's in my teeth great <laughs> um i definitely think that this was just a gimmick and i know some people were able to make it work for them it just did not work for me. I do like the small one when it comes to applying the concealer. I think this is great for the concealer and putting on your eyes. But as for the face, I feel like it's only good for powder and nothing more. So that's that. Um, the Cover FX palette. The blush is actually really pretty. The contour bronzer. It's all right. It's just not something that I necessarily are going to be picking up again. Because I really love the Marc Jacobs um, highlighter. I really love my Marc. I really love my Marc Jacobs. Um, bronzer that I got sent the mail from some wonderful subscribers they sent me in and I can't think of enough like that's my favorite like bronzer that I'm using at this moment and my blush I really love the ColourPop blush I think they're so great so this is definitely something I'm not going to be picking up really again the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter I think it's beautiful it is a great drugstore highlighter it's just not something that I'm necessarily going to be picking up that often because I think that there are better highlighters out there like Milani has some really beautiful like wet looking highlighters for sure um the Conspiracy palette I love Jeffree Star's formula. Jeffree Star has amazing formula, but I just didn't like the color scheme. The color scheme was just so off. It didn't match. I didn't really know what to create. I don't like the order it was in. Maybe if it was ordered better, maybe I like it more. But yeah, this is a palette that I'm still not going to pick up again. It's just, it's great to have as a collector because like I do enjoy having his stuff, like his stuff in my collection because I, I spend a lot of money on this collection. So it brings back good memories, but it's a palette that I definitely would not recommend out of all his palettes. As for the, oh my God, it's in my teeth. As for the um, mascara, yeah, definitely do not like that mascara. You guys can see it's sitting right there on top of my eyeshadow. It's just so big and chunky. And I just, I like really thin, small mascara that really helped to lift and, you know, lengthen. This just, just was never really good for me. Uh, the setting sprays are garbage. I don't care for them whatsoever. They make my face look like I'm freaking soaking wet. Uh, the brushes that I've, the, the Laura Lee brushes, these are actually really nice. I don't know why I've been sitting on them for so long and never used them. I need to actually use what I paid for. So those are actually really nice. As for Kylie's lip kits, I love Kylie's formula. I think Kylie's formulas are great. She makes fantastic products, but it just sucks because they're like they're so limited edition and I just bought it the one time and I just never picked it up again. Uh, the Lemonade Lip Gloss, it's beautiful. Like it looks beautiful right now. It looks really shiny, but it just doesn't feel the best on my lips. 
personally, I think there are better glosses out there. And it's definitely like shifted the liquid lip. Like liquid lip dried down and it's kind of picked it back up and it's placing on my teeth. So definitely not one that I'm gonna be picking up again. Uh, the pomade, no, this didn't work for me. So yeah, overall, oh, in the setting powder, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, thank you. So I know it may look like nice on the camera, but like you guys gotta see what I see up close and it's just, it's just not it. And I don't like the look that I came up with. I just, I don't. You know, we're gonna do a test. I'm gonna show you how bad my skin looks, guys, cause I'm gonna take a picture of my face right now with the flash. Y'all are gonna see this. Oh my God, yes. I cannot wait for you guys to see this photo <laughs> so that you guys can see that the beauty lights do add some sort of like, it's not a filter because I don't use filters. I don't even know how to use filters. I don't know why people use filters, but I'm going to insert this photo so you guys can see what my skin looks like and why I still hate these products because it's a look. So <laughs> yeah, this is me doing a full face of makeup that I hate. Do I still hate these products? Yeah, majority of them I do still. So <laughs> I hope you guys just like sitting back, watching me do this and just have fun. It's kind of nice just to sit back and just chill with you guys and do some makeup. So if you guys want to see some of this again, please let me know in the comments below. I will start keeping tabs on the makeup that I hate. I can do another one hopefully in a couple months from now. And yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post every day, every other day, just depending. Also, make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R4 to Life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful adventures, amazing fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I just want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.